guys, welcome to season two of Professor Craft. Choke was. Okay, next what we're gonna do. Hand meets my lapel hand here. Connect that. My thumb goes in and I get a strong grip. Okay? Aloha guys. Andy Hung from Dojo Fitters and I'm here today with Mustache Lou. Sensei Mustache Lou. Sensei Mustache Lou. Of Portland Judo and today we're doing a uh, Shime Waza sequence and it's very dear to me. If you look over my shoulder here there's a mural that we have here at Portland Judo of Isa Okano and the specific strangle he's doing is called Jugoku Jime. Uh, this mural is from 2014 from artist Tazrock and you know we walk by it every day in our dojo so today we're gonna go over this sequence if you like the mural you're gonna want to definitely watch this episode it looks like this we're gonna attack this turtle Okay, and what we're looking for as judoka is to attack this limb before it closes, right? We all know that window closes quickly, so we got to be quick too. When I see this limb exposed, right, I'm going to thread my heel through this opening here. My heel comes through, my knee goes on the mat, and look how I pivot back, right? I like to put my toe on the mat to really secure this limb is stuck, okay? From here, we're going to attack the neck. I come through his armpit. I punch my knuckles to the mat. Brief exchange, right? We're gonna just attack the neck. So from here, I'm gonna come under his armpit, okay, and grab the far side collar. Punch your knuckles to the mat. Look how it takes the slack out of the collar here, okay? So punch that, that slack out. Now look, I call this the magic key, two fingers. I'm gonna use my knuckles. We're gonna trace his jawline starting behind the ear. So I come in, okay? My hands are trying to meet each other. So my magic key hand's coming through as I punch this collar down to meet it. Okay, thumb in. We gotta get a nice strong grip here. My lapel hand meets my choking hand, thumb in. Boom. We gotta have a tight grip here, okay? And now we're gonna roll through. We're gonna do a basic Zempo Kai 10. My right hand's gonna thread through his armpit. I'm gonna tuck my chin and push off of my foot here, okay? Now when I land in this position, right, I want to make sure that I point my toe down. I'm going to step over my foot. When I land here, watch, I want to take this limb in control. Point your toe, step over it. Basic sankaku. Okay, to make it tight, I'm going to bring my heels to my butt. Here. And now we're going to do our choke, right, jugoku jime. My hand that's through this armpit, I'm going to reach up and out, separating his elbow from his rib. Okay, I'm gonna turn my palm to me. I'm gonna put my thumb in my top side collar. Okay, and now I wanna get a nice solid grip here. Okay, really control this limb with your elbow too. Lift your elbow up. Now look, in this case here, I'm gonna close my elbow to my hip so we snap the slack out of this choke here. I really want you guys to use your body as the backing for this choke. So I'm gonna expose my chest and my sternum, straighten my body, and pull the lapel across his neck here. So now we're here, we're gonna attack the neck, okay? Multiple chokes we could do. If this hand's floating in space, guess what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna come around, right? Look how I grab the meat of his hand here, okay? I personally like to stuff this down to his hip, controlling both limbs. Now every choke needs a backing. I'm gonna show my chest, snap my elbow down, and look how the collar's gonna be pulled into his neck for a katatejime. Now this is a blood choke, so it does take time to apply. If you're trying it at your dojo, maybe count to 10 seconds. Uke should tap somewhere around five or six seconds, okay? So, always be patient with your blood chokes. If you're liking this series, subscribe to us for more chokes. Make sure you follow my brother, Mustache Lou, on Instagram, at Andy Nawaza. Follow the shop and the brand, at Dojo Outfitters. Make sure you subscribe too. Mahalo.